there may have been a good reason the king and queen hid Elsa away. Many people watch Disney's Frozen in awe at Elsa's spectacular powers, along with the trouble that they bring along with them. Now, if you have been keeping up with Disney theories, you most likely know that a lot of fans believe that Elsa and Anna are the cousins of Rapunzel. If you're not familiar with it, basically it is theorized that one of Anna and Elsa's parents is the sibling with one of Rapunzel's parents. And the theory isn't that far of a stretch either. In fact, back in the day, it was a very common pattern to see that the kings and queens of neighboring kingdoms were related. Now, when it comes to the debate of which parent is related to the other, the jury is still out on that one. When you look at the two parent couples side by side, both moms look pretty similar, as well as the dads, so looks aren't much help here. Most think that it makes more sense that the dads are related rather than the moms, however. Yes, both Rapunzel and Elsa got their powers from their mothers, but in completely different ways. Elsa got her powers passed down to her from her mother's heritage, whereas Rapunzel got her powers from the flower that saved her at birth. This means that it would make sense that they share relatives that don't inherently have abilities, making it safe to conclude that the kings, King Frederick and King Agnar, are related rather than the queens. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Elsa and Rapunzel both have light to blonde hair, and when Rapunzel seemingly loses her powers, her hair darkens. I wonder if that's a coincidence. And to wrap this quick theory up, it is also the reason why you can see Rapunzel in the first Frozen film. She makes an appearance when the doors to the kingdom open for the first time in forever. She can be seen making her way through the crowd and inside the castle's walls, probably visiting for her cousin's coronation. This theory is an important one, and it is actually the reason why the King and Queen of Arendelle were so afraid of Elsa's powers being discovered. What if they were afraid that she would succumb to the same fate that had befallen Rapunzel? Well, that's exactly what we are going to discuss in today's video. Now, before we go any further, if you are a fan of all things Disney and Pixar, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to ensure that you don't miss out on any of our magical uploads. All right, so as an audience, we gave Elsa and Anna's parents a ton of criticism for the way they handled their daughter and her icy powers. When they came up with the idea of conceal, don't feel, many people thought that her parents took the completely wrong route for how to handle their daughter with special abilities. I mean, for those of you psychologists out there, if a child has a lot of emotions, or in this case powers, the last thing you should teach them is to suppress them. And as we find out later on in the film, suppression only led to a loss of control of them. It definitely seemed like her parents were afraid of her powers, especially when she accidentally struck Anna while playing outside. Either way, it definitely looked like an unhealthy coping mechanism from the outside. But now with the idea that Rapunzel is Elsa's cousin, there does seem to be a bit more to it. Though they lived what seemed to be worlds apart, it's a pretty safe bet to say that King Agnar would keep in touch with his brother, King Frederick, in some manner or another. Then, that fateful night comes when Gothel breaks into Frederick's castle and kidnaps Rapunzel for her connection with the magical flower. Whether it had been asking for assistance or just letting him know to be on the lookout for his daughter, it is safe to assume that Frederick wrote to Agnar about the incident. With Rapunzel being around the same age as Elsa and Anna, it would make sense that the king and queen would be concerned for the safety of both of their children. Their concern would only be made more intense when one of their kids started showing and revealing powers at an early age. Fearing if the world found out and someone tried to take Elsa like they did Rapunzel, the two knew they had to make a decision. They could either do their best to make sure their child lived a normal life, embracing her powers rather than hiding them, or they could do the harder but safer thing and conceal her from the world to keep her away from prying eyes. They ultimately went with the latter option and came up with the motto, conceal, don't feel, and closing the gates of Arendelle. Obviously, this did not go as planned for Elsa's parents, and her powers still began to manifest and grow stronger and stronger with each passing day. And as they say, what you resist persists. So, as Elsa's powers grew more and more powerful, it actually caused her to fear them more and more. Not a healthy emotional cocktail, mixing fear and icy powers, since we saw how the intensity of her emotions almost directly affected the strength of her powers. The king and queen knew that they were beginning to lose the battle. Instead of teaching her to control her powers, they had only been making them grow even more unstable. But then this begs the question, why were her parents so rigid about her powers even after Elsa grew up and became less kidnappable? I mean, as a baby, yes. She was in a lot more danger like Rapunzel had been. But as a young adult, it almost seemed like she could at the very least protect herself. Well, something that they were still worried about someone hurting Elsa as an adult as well, fearing that someone could capture her and torture her for her powers. Others even speculate that when they left for a few weeks to try and find the answer to Elsa's powers, they were actually trying to find someone that could help Elsa begin to train her powers, since the trolls were no help, to teach her to actually embrace them rather than to fear them. 
Unfortunately, we will never know for sure since they never made it to their destination. Unless you follow the theory that the king and queen actually did survive and made their way to a jungle island where they had another child by the name of Tarzan. But that's completely unrelated to this and a topic for another day. It's interesting to think that the king and queen were actually trying to protect Elsa from other people, not necessarily herself. Any parent will tell you that they would do anything to protect their child. Perhaps this concealed don't feel was Agnar and Iduna's way of trying to keep their daughter from meeting the same fate as their niece Rapunzel. Having their daughter kidnapped or maybe abused for the power she possessed. But what do you think? Could what happened to Rapunzel have affected the way that the king and queen of Arendelle handled Elsa having powers? Be sure to let us know. That's all Disney fans. Let us know what you thought of this video in the comments and like and subscribe for more magically packed videos.